that's not right. I want to go in. I want to go smush some red lyrium and some bad guys. Oh, is there something in Sky... Do I need to talk to somebody at Skyhold to, uh, to crack open that door? There might be some kind of secret mechanism or something like that. Maybe they've tried and they can't and now we need different resources. All right. We got to go back to Skyhold then and, and get that because we're definitely smushing all that red lyrium. Until then, though, we'll do some other stuff. All right, home sweet home finally. Oh, it looks like the um, the banners got put up. I should uh, check in with Josephine, but I'm glad that that got put up. It looks so much better. I wonder if the curtains got put up. We ordered new draperies, I think Josephine had said before I left. Oh, yes, kind of. Word is the courts in Royal. Uh, oh, why is everybody talking? Hi. No one has time Hello. For okay. A land needs law. Uh, the land does roads. have law. I know. These look good. Oh, these look good. Okay. It all looks a lot better in here. All of a sudden, it's starting to perk up with the new banners and the new drapes and all that good stuff. How's everything looking in here? Nice. Nice. That isn't drab anymore. Josephine, does that feel better? What's going on? Please tell Lord Do And what else did Lady Forsythia say? That she'd rather drown herself than help the Inquisition. Anything else? She said she'd have us flogged alive if we allied with her brother. That does sound like her. Cheer up, Josie. We at least have her attention. You always do find the brighter side of things. We are in the midst of cementing an alliance with Lady Forsythia of Nevara, your worship. It's become a somewhat delicate task. Um, or it sounds like a dangerous one. Should I post more guards outside your room? That should be unnecessary, Inquisitor. I dissuaded her from sending soldiers when she learned we'd struck an accord with a brother she's feuding with. Ah. Lady Forsythia simply employs a... Colorful manner of speech. That's what we're calling it now? Colorful? I mean, it's definitely putting it mildly. I hope that this doesn't wear on you too much. If it does, let me know. We can try to find you some help or I can talk to some of these people. You probably don't want me talking to some of these people. I resort to assassins, but I mean, I'm always happy to help in that regard. Dealing with so many demanding, strong-willed people can't be easy. It's no less intense than my days at court, Inquisitor, I assure you. But I confess I do miss my staff from the embassy in Antiva. It was always useful to discuss the day's visitors with them. Well, then discuss them with me. I have time if you'd like to review things with me. I wouldn't wish to impose. You're not imposing. If it were imposing, I wouldn't have offered. Well, I admit, there are a few potential alliances it would be good to discuss. Right on the parlor floor. In front of everyone at the soiree. Who does such a thing in front of their guests? <laughs> the Duke of Kellington, apparently. And then there's calls lurking. It frightens our guests half to death. Lord Genar still won't respond to our letters. And Sarah. Can she not find a single overshirt with that mustard taint on it? Then there's Dorian. The man refuses to take anything seriously unless it suits its whim. Not to mention... Oh, oh goodness. Have we been here an hour already? I didn't... E I mean, that went by really fast. I didn't think about it at all. It went by so quickly I didn't even notice. You're far too polite. No, I'm not. I didn't intend to go on for so long. You must think me quite the gossip. Not at all. I think you needed a break. And trust me, I am the last person that would ever call myself polite. So I enjoyed this talk, though. It was good. You know, I'm always here if you want to do this more often. You've been working continually since I met you, Josephine. And that can't stop. I must be going. But I leave feeling less troubled than I have in weeks. All right. Oh, right. 
This is my bedroom. I'm like never here. Oh, it looks so good. I do like the bed. That is fancy. Okay. Nice room. See the banners extended in here too. And the windows. Wow. The stained glass looks so pretty. Okay. Time to, uh, who else am I going to chat with? I got it. I think I literally have to chat with everybody while I'm here. It's been so long. They and then certainly spared no expense. No, they spared zero expenses. But I do then after also need to we got I gotta go to the Emerald Graves. That is definitely high up on the to-do list. So I'm gonna go around, chat with some people, and then uh, you know, get the guys ready to go. Very Oh. Yes. What's up, Mother Giselle? How can I help? It's good of you to speak with me. Okay. I have news regarding one of your companions, the Devinter. You mean Dorian, who has a name? Did did you have to call him the Tevinter? Dorian's helped us countless times and helped me at Haven. I think he's proven himself time and time again. I don't think you have to refer to him as the Tevinter, but you don't like him, do you? Uh, is that a note of distaste I detect, Mother Giselle? I admit his presence here makes me uncomfortable, Inquisitor, but my feelings are of no importance. I have been in contact with his family, House Pavas, out of Carinas. Are you familiar with them? Uh, we've never met. Like, I'm not personally familiar with them. It'd be weird if I was. Familiar? We've never met, if that's what you're suggesting. I'm suggesting nothing. You're definitely suggesting I'm something. I'm curious whether you know of his situation. The family sent a letter describing the estrangement from their son and pleading for my aid. They've asked to arrange a meeting quietly without telling him. They fear it's the only way he'll come. Since you seem to be on good terms with the young man, I'd hoped... You'd hope that I'd lie to Dorian to get him to go to a meeting with his family, whom he clearly does not want anything to do with right now. Is that, is that what you're suggesting? Or is there something else? And what kind of meeting are we talking about here? Just what kind of meeting do they have in mind? I believe they just want to talk to understand why Dorian felt he had to come here. Because it was the right Someone thing to do? Private, away from Skyhold, but not in Tevinter. You make them nervous, I think. Good. They don't understand why he's here with the Inquisition. They want him to come home. He is home. And if he doesn't agree to this meeting? What happens if Dorian doesn't agree? Hopefully that will be the end of it. If not, well, that's why you should be there. And then uh, one more question, though. Why would they contact you? Out of all the people, why would they contact you? Why wouldn't they contact Josephine for a private conversation? Heck, even Leliana or one of her people, uh, they could have reached out to Bull. Why you? Why would his family contact you? Because they don't know you, Inquisitor. I am not of the Imperial Chantry, but they know what I represent. These are parents concerned about the welfare of their son. How could I not do whatever possible? I would speak to the young man myself, but he does not care for me. And you don't care for him. To you. If any good can come of this, we must try. I'm not going to trick Dorian. If you think I'm going to trick Dorian into meeting his family. Oh, I feared you might say that. The family will send a retainer to meet the young man at the Red Cliff Tavern to take him onward. If he truly does not wish this reunion, he can always end the matter there. I pray you change your mind, Inquisitor. Perhaps their letter will persuade you. If there is any chance of success in this, it behooves us to act. Us? All right, so here's the letter. Your reverence, I understand that you feel inadequate to the task of bringing Dorian to a secure meeting. Even in the asking, I find it difficult to believe myself, considering my son has rebuffed all contact. This is the only way. I know him. He would be too proud to come if he knew, even just to talk. That is all we wish to do. The thought of Dorian in the south placing himself in the path of such danger alarms us more than I can express. 
If this somehow succeeds, we have a family retainer at the Vandral Hills watching for Dorian's arrival. He will bring the boy to us somewhere private. If Dorian utterly refuses to go with him, it ends there, and there is nothing we can do. We are at our wits' ends. Graciously yours, Magister Hallward, House of Pavis. That sounds so incredibly sketchy, Mother Gis Giselle. You want him to just... It just... With somebody he doesn't know to a secret meeting location, they could take him, and we'd never see Dorian again. Oh, Dorian's not going to like this conversation. This will be fun to have. Varric, distract me for a second. Corivius is back. Oh, shit. Yep. I know. What is he, though? You said he was a darkspawn, or a magister. What is he really? I'm not sure. I don't think Corivius really knows either. He's definitely a darkspawn, but when we found him, it was pretty obvious he hadn't heard that. Interesting. He thinks he's a magister, a priest of Dumat, in fact. He says he broke into the Golden City, like in the Chantry tale. I mean, it's interesting because Alistair had mentioned that he wasn't necessarily like the Darkspawn because he exhibited too many similarities to an archdemon, which was very interesting. So, huh, and he thinks he's a magister of the pre... I mean, is it possible that he actually was a priest of Dumont way back when? Wasn't Dumont one of the... um? He was one of the Archdemons from one of the Blights. Like, he's gone, if I remember. Wasn't he the first? Possibly? Oh, interesting. Interesting how that might all uh, start to tie in. So, is he still looking for Dumont at this point, I wonder? Probably not. I mean, he didn't sound like he was looking to worship anybody, but instead be worshipped at this point. So, maybe he's looking to take Dumont's place overall. But don't worry, it's not that bad. It could always get worse, right? Honestly, I'd rather fight an ancient Darkspawn with a pet archdemon than deal with that hole in the sky. At least you can kill Darkspawn. We didn't just think Corypheus was dead. I believe you. He was dead. No pulse, no breath, full of stab wounds. There wasn't a lot of room for doubt. It makes me wonder. I thought the Wardens imprisoned Corypheus to use him. Maybe they did it because he can't be killed. Or maybe they did it because they didn't know how to kill him. You know what I mean? Like, we're smart. We're a good group. We'll figure it out. Maybe just the wardens were just thinking too much inside their own little bubble. As we've seen after the conversation with Alistair, it appears that the wardens enjoy just thinking inside their own little bubble and not asking for help. But now we've got a whole bunch of people that can help instead of just the wardens you know and everything dies don't worry he's he's gonna be toast by the end of this nothing is unkillable i'm not so sure about that do the things in the fade really die maker's breath what have i let loose i i think you're heavily confused right now you didn't let loose anything don't don't get this all confused right now brutally murdered is not really the same as unleashed upon the world very in this case, it might be. But you've got more important things to do than listen to me worry. Just let me know when you want something shot. Oh, don't worry. I will. You'll be the first person I call. Actually, be prepared. We are leaving soon-ish. I need to head on over to, uh, to the Emerald Graves, I think. Is that where I'm going? Emerald Graves? I think. Got to uh, handle the Samson stuff for... Colin. Hey, Solus. Wait, Solus, is there anything you wanted to chat about? We haven't talked in a few days. Greetings. Um, I have a question. Can you tell me a little bit about Corypheus? I need to know more about Corypheus. We spoke of this on our travels to Skyhold. What more can I tell you? Cassandra and Varric seem more familiar with their adversary. I mean, I'll ask them too, but I'm asking you now because I'm here. Oh, I'll take advice from just about anyone right now. I'm flattered. I claim no secret wisdom, but I will guess as best I can. You're gonna... Okay, can you take some educated guesses? Tell me about this orb. I would like to know more about the orb he carries. As I said, that must be the means by which he created the breach. I suspect the blast that destroyed the Conclave was more accident than anything. The result of unlocking power that had sought release for ages. What I cannot understand is how he managed to survive such an explosion. So, and you said the orb is elven? How do you, like, have you seen 
others of them before? Do we know if there's a way to reverse what they do? You said that you believed the orb is elven. I never would have believed that a Vinter mage could unlock such a powerful relic. It clearly enhances his abilities, giving him access to power he should never have known. Like the power to control the Archdemon? Indirectly, one assumes. Nothing in any law connects my people to the old god dragons who became Archdemons. Because isn't it that the old god Archdemons are well before ancient elves and everything? What do you mean by your people, though? Are you talking like ancient elves, your people, or Dalish elves, your people? What are you... What are you actually saying here, Solus? Because the last time I heard, you don't necessarily identify as a, like, Dalish elf, as most people identify as now, or most elves identify as now. So, who are your people, exactly? Can we talk more on that at some point? What is his base of power, though? Is the orb his base of power, or...? What can you tell me about the source of Corypheus's power? According to the law, the ancient magistars of the Vinter received guidance from the old gods. Corypheus commands a false archdemon, a corrupted old god. This suggests he no longer sees himself as their minion. Some of his unique power comes from the corruption of the Blight. The rest may come from the orb he carries. So, if his archdemon is a false archdemon, right, like his pet dragon, going off of what you just said, he's not a real archdemon. Yes, yes, nod your head, agreement, good, awesome. So, what is it? Is it just a blighted dragon? Is that all Corypheus is really wielding right now? And it's helping him in some way? Or are we talking that there's something a little bit more to his dragon? Like, is his dragon a little bit more intelligent, but not necessarily an archdemon? Is he almost like a... Can there be like a demi-archdemon? I mean, if you can have a demi-god, it would stand to reason that you could have demi-archdemons, right? So, is that what his pet archdemon is or is it something entirely different you know do, all right you don't know what he's gonna do next because i mean nobody does none of us are corypheus but what would you think that he might do next what do you think corypheus will do next you shamed him when you destroyed haven it spoiled his glorious victory it would be worse to acknowledge that you had done so he must continue on his course or show weakness to he who return to his plans to throw Ole into chaos and then conquer it for Devinter. So, he, what, is he worried that he's going to look weak in front of, like, the Venatori? The Venatori worship him. They won't see that as weakness, though. The Venatori will just see it as another reason to hate us, and me, specifically. So who is he afraid of looking weak in front of? And are you certain of this? You're sure that's what he'll do? As certain as is possible. Assuming I can plausibly predict a man who seeks to rise to godhood. And can you? The key is understanding this. No real god need prove himself. Anyone who tries is mad or lying. His deception hmm. will undo him. As it has done countless fools before. All right, thank you for talking. We'll talk later. Goodbye. You know, the way Sol has talked about people rising to godhood is almost sounded like it was from experience. Sometimes... Sometimes I wonder about Solus. I really do. Huh. Just check in with Cullen. Make sure everything's going okay with, Le you know, the, um, not taking Lyrium and everything like that. Cullen, hi. Gloat all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even... Inquisitor leaving are you does this mean i win are you two behaving is everybody having fun are you two playing nice i'm always nice you need to come to terms with my inevitable victory you'll feel much better really because i just won and <laughs> i feel fine don't get smug there will be no living with you. I should return to my duties as well. Unless you would care for a game. Oh. Oh, you're on. Let's do this. Let, let's, let's play a game. Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, I played this with my sister. 
she would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Oh, the look on her face the day I finally won. Between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. Will you tell me about your family? I don't actually think we've talked about each other's families before. Tell me about them. You have siblings. Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the Blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Ah, oh, it's my turn. All right, let's see what you've got. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. Wait, is this really? Oh, you're right, it is. That's... Wow. I can't believe that. We've known each other for how long? And this is the first time we've had a normal conversation? We should definitely do this more often. We should spend more time together. I would like that. Me too. You said that. We should finish our game, right? My turn? I believe this one is yours. Well played. We shall have to try again sometime. Colin, I know we just played a game of chess, but I have something... Did you need something? Uh, yeah, I have a really awkward question for you. This is... I... I... It's just... I'd like to know... Um... Hmm. How do I... I are you seeing anyone? Did you leave anyone behind in Kirkwall? No. I fear I made few friends there, and my family's in Ferelden. No one special caught your interest? Not in Kirkwall. Okay. That's good to know. That's, that, that's all. Thank you. That's all for now. Should you require anything, I'll be here. Okay. I'm gonna go talk to Cole and Sarah and check in on Cole. Thank you for the chess game and the conversation. Didn't leave behind anyone in Kirkwall. And not interested in someone said not in Kirkwall. Does does that imply that there's somebody outside of Kirkwall? Who is he referencing? I mean, is what is the likelihood that it was me? On a scale of like one to yes. Oh, I mean. At some point, one of us is going to have to stop. Yes, hello. One of us is going to have to just, you know, be the adult here. But that day is not today, and that adult is not me. Stefan finally died. Oh. It was a blessing, really. Poor guy. He's been in so much pain since Haven. He was out of his mind at the end. He smiled. Said he smelled his mother's turnip stew. And slipped away. Wasn't there somebody who said that turnips went missing? Huh. I'll have to... Cole. I need to go talk to Cole. Cassandra, do you want to talk after everything? I can keep staring at this, but I won't get any closer. Can I help at all? Something I can help you with? Yes. Possibly. We saw so many Red Templars at the assault on Haven. Perhaps all that was left of the Order. What we didn't see was Lord Seeker Lucius. Oh, you're right. Indeed, I've seen no hint of any Seekers amongst the Red Templars, or anywhere. I have a growing suspicion Corypheus has imprisoned them. All right, so... What do you... This I know that this is important to you. What do you want to do about it? Finding them obviously means a lot to you. I left the Order, but I can never abandon them. I cannot even claim that rescuing them would be beneficial. They wouldn't look kindly on the Inquisition. But even so, if there's a chance... If we can spare resources to follow up on these leads, Inquisitor, I would appreciate it. Of course. Okay, so... 
adding that to the to-do list. Maybe we'll hop over and handle that after we go to the Emerald Graves. I'm... I'll... I'll nip on by here. We'll come to Sky... We'll come back to Skyhold. I'll grab Cassandra and we'll go ahead and head on over. Because if I remember correctly, as far as, like... Locations Worship. go... It should be, like... It would make sense that we'd come back to Skyhold and then head over to where Cassandra needs us to go. Oh, I almost fell off the ledge. All right, I need to go talk to Bull. Sarah, I haven't checked in with Cole either. Bull, how you doing? 